Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, you guys know that I love reviewing art supplies, and especially when it comes to markers. Markers has become one of my new favorite medium to work with, and alcohol markers, that is. I don't really use water-based markers all that much, but here are these awesome alcohol-based markers called Master Markers. Now, Master Markers, as you can see, it looks like it's mostly a manga Master Markers kind of brand, I don't know, but I mean, I think you can use alcohol-based markers on everything, no matter what kind of art you draw. Anyway, so let's take a look at these master markers. We have a chisel tip and a brush tip. So that's like my two favorite things in the world when it comes to alcohol-based markers is the brush tip. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like using the brush tip all that much. I mean, I've seen in the past that, yeah, not many people like using them. And that's okay because people like using or having different preferences when it comes to a certain supply, whether it be watercolor or, once again, markers. Now, you guys have all suggested for me to give master markers a try and to do a review on them. And the reason why I'm doing a review on the master markers is because I am offering a cheaper version of Copic markers. Now, if you know what Copic markers are, when you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or your local art store, you see that a marker a piece is about $8. Every time I go to Michael's, it's $7.99. Now, I could say that the smartest way to go and buy and collect a Copic marker set is by buying a marker a week and using the 40% coupon or from Michaels or from Hobby Lobby or whatever your art store offers if they offer coupons on a certain day of the week or just like a week window. I would go in once a week and build up your Copic marker set. Although that could be a huge investment if you've never tried alcohol-based markers before. Now, when it comes to alcohol-based markers, they are challenging, but they're also a lot of fun because the thing is that they can blend in with each other or you can dilute them. But the top thing is that they blend together. Now, talking about master markers, I found that I liked them. I really did like them. There was a couple of things that I didn't like as much that I haven't had this problem with other cheaper markers that I have reviewed so far. I have done a review on Prismacolor markers, um, the Ohuhu markers, Ohuhu! <laughs> I've done a review on both of those, and I liked both of those sets, but there was one thing about the master markers that was kind of throwing me off just a little bit. And if you have master markers, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But before I get into the negative part, let's talk about the positives and what I'm drawing. Now, as you know, it is May, and if you are in Instagram, then you know that every art artist you're probably following right now is participating in Mermay. You don't have to participate. It's okay if you want to participate for the rest of the month or an artist you're following is not participating in it. It's okay. Everybody has their preference, but it's very similar to Inktober. Instead of doing an ink doodle a day, people go ahead and post a mermaid doodle of the day. Now, I think that mermaids are a lot of fun because it, it does challenge you because it's sort of complicated when body proportions come to mermaids because you're like oh I don't know how to make long the tail because you have to substitute the little the tails being the legs put together and the body proportions like ah oh my goodness or you have to draw um like little to no clothes on mermaids or mermen uh I just drew a merman and um I mean I kind of freaked out a little I was like oh my gosh he's not wearing a shirt I don't draw many guys not wearing shirts, <laughs> so I was kind of freaking out. I don't know, do you have the same problem as me? You're just like, I want to draw a merman, but that means he can't wear a shirt. What do I do? Do I give him a four pack, six pack, eight pack? <laughs> I don't know, do you have the same problem as me? Leave in the comments down below, I'd love to hear. Anyways, so I am trying to branch out a little bit of apart from typical mermaids, and I want to do different types of sea creatures that are mermaids. So I picked a jellyfish mermaid. Now I've seen tons of people do a jellyfish mermaid on mermaids so far, and I'm just like in awe over them. And that's what I really like about mermaid too. I don't know about you guys. Leave in the comments down below if you're the same as me. Um, <laughs> I love these month challenges when it's on Instagram or any other social media where people challenge each other, 
each other to draw a certain thing for a whole month. If, for example, Inktober or Mermaid. I mean, Mermaid. So I love getting on Instagram and I'm just constantly inspired by all these artists that I absolutely look up to and I just want to be them when I grow up. So I love getting on Instagram and seeing all these different versions of mermaids and these different styles. It's just incredibly inspiring. If you haven't heard of it yet, jump on Instagram and go search the, the hashtag mermaid. Um, I'm pretty sure you probably have seen something going on, <laughs> but it's just really, really, really inspiring throughout the whole month. Anyways, back to the jellyfish. I really wanted to do a jellyfish mermaid because I want to do different types of sea creatures. I did a clownfish. If you follow me on Instagram, make sure you go and check out that out. There was a clownfish mermaid. This is my jellyfish mermaid. And I did, um, I even did ladybug from Miraculous Ladybug. So I did Marinette as a mermaid and she had like a ladybug tail. I'm just trying to branch out a little bit. I'd love to do a merman with a shark tail. That's something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> so I, this is just an encouraging month to go through and to be inspired by other artists and to try different things other than just drawing a fishtail on a mermaid. Okay, now let's talk about these markers. They really do blend in well together and I don't know, I kind of had like a feeling that it was almost a watercolor thing going on there. Just the way they were blending and just meshing together in a way. This, these alcohol markers are probably the best markers that I've ever blended in with each other. The colors just really bled into each other and they, but in a good way to where they were complementing each other. And you didn't see any marks that, oh, I have to go over this so many times because you can see my marks going back and forth, back and forth. That wasn't the case with these. I, I could put down a couple of blots and it would just blend in and go across the paper wonderfully and that might be because of the alcohol content in actual markers but you can see there are like no harsh lines ever anywhere even when i'm applying this yellow there are no harsh lines now the only negative thing that i would say about these markers is that the tips on the brushes fray they were fraying they were kind of fraying outwards just a little bit it could be just uh, just the products i got they probably just a bat a botchy batch of markers but it was just it was fraying so i was using the skin color and the pink and the blues a lot and they were fraying outwards like the tip was not staying together that well and it could just be the material i don't know but that's the only negative part that i saw in the master markers i would highly recommend them if you are looking for cheap alcohol based markers because you want to start getting into that medium as an artist in your art career then I would highly suggest go on Amazon and check out the master markers. I'll leave the link down below in the info box as well in the comments to go and buy these markers just in case you want to give them a try. Now, there are other markers I have reviewed like the Ohuhu marker, so go give a, go give those a look in my review on that. And I also reviewed, if you want to step up a little bit more towards the Copic marker spectrum, I also did a review on Prismacolor markers. But alcohol-based markers are a lot of fun. You should give them a try, step out of your comfort zone, and try this medium because it is a lot of fun. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this review of Master Markers. They are a great marker. Go check them out. And I hope you guys participate in the rest of Mermaid, or at least do one post. Get out of your comfort zone. Draw a mermaid. <laughs> it's fun. Have a most wonderful day. Bye!